poem on death by John Clare. Why should man's high aspiring mind burn in him with so proud a breath, when all his haughty views can find in this world yields to death? The fair, the brave, the vain, the wise, the rich, the poor, and great, and small, are each but worms anatomies to strew his quiet hall. Power may make many earthly gods, where gold and bribery's guilt prevails, but death's unwelcome, honest odds kick o'er the unequal scales. The flattered great may clamor's race of power, and their own weakness hide, but death shall find unlooked-for ways to end the farce of pride. An arrow hurtled ear so high, within a giant's sinewy strength, in time's interest eternity, goes but a pygmy length. Nay, whirring from the tortured string, with all its pomp of hurried flight, T is by the skylark's little wing outmeasured in its height. Just so man's boasted strength and power shall fade before death's lightest stroke, laid lower than the meanest flower, whose pride o'ertopped the oak. And he who like a blighting blast, dispeopled worlds with war's alarms, shall be himself destroyed at last by poor despised worms. Tyrants in vain their powers secure, and a slave's murmurs, with a frown, for unawed death at last is sure, to sap the babels down. A stone thrown upward to the sky, will quickly meet the ground again. So men gods of earth's vanity, shall drop at last to men. And power and pomp, their all resign, blood purchased thrones, and banquet halls. Fate waits to sack ambition's shrine, as bare as prison walls, where the poor suffering, wretch bows down to laws, a lawless power hath passed. And pride, and power, and king, and clown shall be death's slaves at last. Time, the prime minister of death. There's naught can bribe his honest will. He stops the richest tyrant's breath, and lays his mischief still. Each wicked scheme, for power all stops, with grand oyers false and mock display, as eve's shades from high mountain tops, fade with the rest away. Death levels all things in his march, naught can resist his mighty strength. The palace proud, triumphal arch shall meet its shadow's length. The rich, the poor, one common bed, shall find in the unhonored grave, where weeds shall grow alike overhead, of tyrant and of slave.